Hi, I'm Shiv Ghani. Thanks for checking out the Raise Line interview series in which me and my co-hosts, Dr. Rishi Desai and registered nurse Jana Amil, explore how to strengthen our healthcare system with some amazing leaders in medicine, technology, education, and government. And they have some great advice for people starting careers in healthcare as well. I hope you will watch these highlights and then go listen to the full podcast interview wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Shiv Ghani, and today on Raise Line, I'm really happy to be joined by Dr. Omar Dawood. Dr. Dawood is a clinician and stage four cancer survivor with more than 25 years of senior management, medical research, and clinical experience with a focus on innovating medical device and digital health products as a senior executive. You have a really impressive background, uh, Penn, Yale, many other logos uh, behind you, and you're a cancer survivor. I would love to hear uh, kind of what first got you interested in a career in medicine and then transitioning into leadership roles in uh, digital health companies. Yeah. Um, you know, I went through a, a difficult experience when I was a teenager. I was diagnosed with stage four uh, Hodgkin's lymphoma uh, a couple days from my 15th birthday. And it really uh, lit a fire in me uh, to uh, be able to actually bring innovation to the hospital. Uh, I got to see a side of medicine uh, that really, to me, highlighted the need for better access, uh, better quality of care. Uh, and as I said, the ability to bring innovation uh, on all fronts uh, into the hospital system. So from there, I pursued a career in medicine. And um, and always followed my passions, uh, you know, studied uh, in the public health realm uh, and got more of a collective view on medicine. Uh, and then after being out in San Francisco and, and uh, in residency training, I really got a, a really good firsthand taste on uh, the opportunities to be able to actually apply my clinical expertise and strategic mindset uh, into the business world uh, and to be able to not just touch patients from a one on one perspective and help them but actually influence an entire sphere of patients globally. My last question for you is, is there anything else you'd like to be able to convey to our audience, uh, you know, current and future healthcare professionals around the world uh, while we have you here? I think the last thing is we have all these statistics around mental health. One in five Americans are afflicted with the mental health or will be uh, afflicted in their lifetime. And what I just urge everyone uh, to think about is, what about the other four of five, four out of five that actually experience some level of stress and anxiety and they don't have a labeled condition? Uh, we shouldn't forget about them. It's as important to support every one of us and every one of the patients in front of you uh, from a mental and behavioral health perspective, even at a subacute uh, pre-symptom level. Because then I think we're going to make a more efficient use of our downstream resources. We're just going to prepare all of us and entire society uh, for any stress and anxiety that's to come. Thanks for watching this preview of Raise the Line. To hear the full interview, check out all of our podcasts and subscribe to the series, please go to osmosis.org forward slash Raise the Line podcast or listen wherever you get your podcasts.